everyone, today we're building the letter B into a Bloxburg house. Before we start, we're gonna ask a wheel what style we should go for and how many rooms the house should have. The wheel can either choose modern, suburban, industrial, luxurious, or cottage style. So what's it gonna be? I'm scared because last time I did luxurious and I don't wanna do luxurious again. <laughs> I got so scared. I really thought it was gonna be luxurious. I'm so happy we got cottage. The wheel can choose either five rooms, 10 rooms, 15 rooms, or 20 rooms. I'm really scared about this. I really don't want it to be 20 rooms. Please don't be 20 rooms. Please, 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 no, no, no. Okay, 15, I'll take it. Five less rooms than 20. I'm really hoping that I can just make this like three stories tall, not five. <laughs> well, it looks like the letter C, but maybe we're getting somewhere. I think I'm actually gonna try to make it two floors. I'm making sure to make it four blocks wide. So we have a lot of space to work with. If it's just two floors and I make it, let's say like two or three blocks wide, are we even gonna have enough room to make rooms? Probably not. I think I should be careful about how I add the roof because I want this top part to be a balcony. I'm gonna put the roof like this. Oh, this is cool. That looks so good. I'm very happy with that. Now it's time to start actually building. But let's not forget this is a cottage house with 15 rooms. Let's find a little nice cottage door. I feel like one of the traditional ones would do good. I want a see-through one to be honest, like this one. For our floors, we're gonna go for these wood planks. Just place them like that. And then this is gonna be like our second floor but where are, where are the ladders gonna be we're gonna have our ladders start from this corner here and they're gonna go all the way to the roof some places have like rooftop gardens and that's what I want for this cottage house what I really want to do to make these look like they are definitely large windows is use a cube the transparent one you can just kind of put it on the floor like this bring it up and make it look like a window and then I'm gonna put it over here too that looks so cool now we need to recolor the outside of this so we're gonna go for these horizontal planks we're gonna color them institutional white I'm wondering if maybe this should be cobble. Maybe it looks a little awkward, like a haircut for the bee, but I like it. It definitely looks good up here. That's for sure. It's sad that it's a fence because you can't really put trim on a fence. We're gonna put this molding all around. We can also make this like a little balcony. Do cottage core houses have balconies? I feel like they don't. I haven't really seen that. It's fine though, because this cottage core house has a balcony. I think we should go inside now. And what we can do is add this real molding. We're gonna use the same cobble for our interior and I'm gonna put it all around. And I'm gonna grab this French door. I'm also gonna put it here so you can access this area. I think it adds up to 15 rooms. Let's just check. These are the rooms I gave for every single floor. This is gonna be our entryway. First couple of things you always need for the entryway. An umbrella stand, a little hook rack to put your jacket on, and don't forget to leave your slippers by the door. So just to be a little wholesome because this is a cottage core house, I'm gonna give them like a cute welcome mat. For decor, we have to make sure to use vases and put a bunch of flowers in there. Cottage core is all about those flowers. I know the industrial bench is not cottage cottage core, but maybe I can make it look cottage core. All you gotta do is just make it wooden, right? Boom, cottage core. I'll even make it green for that extra cottage feeling. And now I'm gonna put flowers on this. So this little carpet hack I'm gonna do needs the detailed tiles. So you just kind of grab it and then you rotate it a little bit. It costs a bunch of money, but it ends up looking really good. So that's gonna be the entryway. Now we're gonna move on over here to the office. See, I already put the pairing tosh. I think I can make this look a little cottage core. And by that, I mean, I'm just gonna use the quadratic end table and maybe we can make a cobblestone. Should I make the computer cobble no you can't change the material of the computer that would be funny though if you could for the lights i'm gonna give them like this log table lamp and the rustic ceiling lamp because i feel like that just makes sense in a cottage core house we need a nice little log chair can it fit just barely <laughs> well it's a tiny little office what can i say you know what it's okay don't worry about your lack of space i'm gonna give you a vase you're gonna have some nice flowers in there it's gonna be great look at that very comforting i will give them a memo board as well maybe they need to keep notes so here are your very very important sticky notes. Moving on from the office, we've got our laundry. This one is the quickest one. Just put the stacked washer and dryer, which I know you can barely see, but here it is. I mean, that's your laundry room. I don't know why, but I always somehow end up having the washing machine next to an office or a living room where it's like the worst place to have it. You'll be trying to focus, like do your work, and then the laundry is going to be like... Brrr. It is what it is. Since this is their dining area, I wanna give them like a cute round dining table. I guess we're gonna use more log chairs. It only makes sense. We gotta make this cottage core dining table be a little bit organized. Couple of plates on top, here you go. And you definitely need a candle. The vintage one. Okay, I know it's vintage. We'll call it cottage. Now you know what we need to do. We need to get more vases. I think we're gonna go for like a dark brown vase. That could be cute. A couple of books, wouldn't hurt, right? And you know what? It's a perfect opportunity to put a little vine plant on the side. I was also thinking maybe we could use these wall vines 
wines, but I'm not sure how to go about it. I guess we could use it over here on the kitchen side, make it look a little bit like an accent wall. Here we are. So I specifically tested if these counters will fit inside our kitchen. It turns out they do fit. So we need one shaker counter for our sink, one for our appliances. The only thing that kind of didn't fit was the icebox fridge. And now it's really causing a problem. I'm gonna put the fridge over here. And I think I'm gonna use a cooktop instead of a stove. So it just works better. I don't know. I'm just trying to make this work. That's a little bit modern for a cottage core. All right, and let's not forget our coffee maker, very, very important. Today, I drank three cups of coffee just to wake up. I still don't feel fully awake. I'm not even gonna lie. This is me on three cups of coffee. You know, I keep getting comments. People are like, why are you rushing? <laughs> and I'm just like, no, I'm not rushing. I just talk really fast. <laughs> Sometimes I have a bit of a reference for how to do these styles, but today I don't have one. I'm just kind of going straight for it. The cottage is speaking to me and it wants a green fridge. I feel like I might be missing something. I guess maybe what we're missing is a little bit of clutter. So some soap wouldn't hurt, a little trash can as well. And of course the paper stand, you need one of these always. A little towel holder like right here. I feel like that's gonna be really convenient. I'm gonna put two just to be a little extra. And of course the couple of utensils. I think that's what we were missing. Just a little bit of decor. Now we're gonna move on over here to our music room. It's basically like where you store your guitars. I don't I don't think that's a real thing, but I made it a thing, okay? Music room is a thing. I always just waste my money buying all of these guitars every single time and just putting them one after the other here. I just wanna store the guitars a little bit nicer. That's gonna be our music storage room or well, more like guitar storage room. Now we're gonna go upstairs. I think this was the flower room. Yeah, yeah. You can tell it's the flower room because I put flowers on the ground. I looked this up when I did another house. A flower room is like a flower arranging room. I feel like you definitely need a desk. I'm gonna grab this quadratic desk, put it over here. I'm also gonna grab the same chair that we use in our office, put it right here. What we need to do is just place our bouquets on this table to make it look like they were arranging some flowers. And also I'm gonna grab this vase and we'll put some flowers in there too. I'm gonna grab this oak shelf, resize this oak shelf to be super long. I just feel like it looks so nice to put all of these flowers on a shelf. Maybe I should add more shelves, just a couple more flowers. I guess we should also put vases all around to like show Show all the different bouquets they did. We're gonna use all these fancy schmancy vases. Put the fancy schmancy flowers. This is a cute room. That's our flower arranging room. And now we're gonna move on over here. This is our storage room and this is our bathroom. Starting off with the storage room, we're gonna use this shelving and resize it to be longer. You just need to like grab like a bunch of things that you would store. And I don't know, whenever I think of a storage room, I always think of like toilet paper or like shampoo or soap. What about the new items? Maybe I could use like a new item. Oh, they would definitely store soap. Soil. That's genius. I'm gonna put the soil over here as well. Like they ran out of space. Where's the bag of seeds? That's what we need. You're not gonna see them. No one's gonna know, except me, except you. The one watching this video, we're the ones who know that there's seeds up there. You can kind of see the seed package. That's like a hint. Like, hey, I'm over here. So that's our storage room. And over here is the bathroom. Nothing too crazy. We're gonna get the pedestal sink, a toilette. I would love to fit a bathtub. Oh no, there's a window here. I can already see the comments. Everyone's gonna see you on the toilet. Here is a curtain for your privacy. We fit everything just fine. I think I'm gonna grab this kyber from down here for when you get outside of the bathtub. You need towel hangers, don't you? Otherwise, what are you drying yourself off with? I definitely see them having the oak shelf and just storing stuff on this. I would imagine that they would have like a bunch of soap right here. Maybe like a moisturizer. That would make sense in the bathroom. And I'm gonna give them this toiletry bag up there. Kind of want to give them another shelf. I'm gonna put it more in the middle though. Maybe they don't like to take their phones to the toilet, so they like to read books on the toilet. We're gonna make the books look like cottage koi. We're gonna make them all different shades of green. Ooh, they don't really have a mirror here, but maybe it's not a big deal that they don't have a mirror. That's gonna be the cottage koi bathroom. Moving on upstairs to our third floor, we have our workout room. There was a recent update regarding like workout items and now you gotta like level up your athletic skill. And clearly I don't have some of these things unlocked just yet. Instead, what we're gonna do for the athletic room is we're gonna use like jump rope. We're gonna put like a yoga mat, maybe even a hula hoop. Yoga mat, perfect for your workout room. Detail tile, it looks like a carpet, but it's okay. I'm sure you can like interact with it or something. Oh, what color should we do for our yoga mat? Maybe something like that. And we'll put jump rope over the yoga mat. Now it is a bit of a tight space to work out in, but I think you'll be okay. We can fit an exercise ball. That's so smart. I want to make it red. I feel like I've always seen these exercise balls in the color red. That is not bad for a workout room. And then over here is where our library is. I already know what I got to do. Got to grab all the books. I mean, what else would you have in a library other than all the books? We're going to copy paste some of these books. I think I'm going to color them to be slightly different for variety. I'm going to give them this rocking chair if it 
fit. It's actually not too bad. Like you can move it out the way if you want to actually sit. I feel like that's kind of comfortable. What I'm going to do is grab these photo frames again. I feel like a little bit of decor wouldn't hurt on this wall. So I'm going to add a couple of paintings and that's going to be the decor. Let's not forget the vase with a couple of flowers from their flower arranging station. Now over here is actually the lounge room. You literally just like sit and chill. And whenever I think of like sitting and chilling, I always want to just like sit on the floor. I really like sitting on the floor. As long as you've got like a car Bit and a blanket and a pillow. I'm also gonna put this little end table. The reason for that is because I want to put these sticks here. <gasps> Was that an animation? Am I seeing things? No, there's an animation. That is so awesome. I really want to put the salt lamp, but I'm gonna keep it for the bedroom, which we're gonna move on to now. For the bedroom, I'm gonna nudge the bed in the corner so we can fit a nightstand here. I'm gonna put the transitional nightstand, put the salt crystal on. It's beautiful. Maybe they don't have like an alarm clock. Maybe they got <laughs> one of these circular clocks. Maybe this like rings. I know that's not possible. Possible, but we can we can imagine we can pretend we do have a little problem We need to find a place to put our wardrobe or at least a dresser and I really want to use this rustic dresser <laughs> But look wait wait, let me try to place it. Look at that. It literally blocks the view of the bed I mean it takes up two blocks wait the simplicity dresser this one takes up around one block So that's a little bit better. I'm using like mixtures of like dark wood and linen I just feel like it looks really good together. I know for sure. I want them to have like candles I think I'll just use this large candle I just feel like they would have a stump chair to look at this video View. Look outside your massive window. Honestly, I kind of want them to also have their clothing rack here I kind of see it as a vibe and then over on this side of the wall a cork board would be perfect We can put a couple of sticky notes on this and maybe a couple of tape photographs I really want them to have some hanging vines here I feel like it's gonna help bring the room together Maybe what we could do is grab this wall vine as well and put it in the bedroom. I keep getting lost <laughs> There's so much going on. It's like an accent wall now I don't know how you're gonna see your clock. I see it covering it so since the bedroom is done, we're gonna move on over to our painting room. The concept of this one is actually pretty simple. The way I think of it is there's a balcony over here. They like to come outside to paint some of the views and then they bring their paintings inside to store them as well. We're gonna grab the paint buckets and we're gonna keep them on the inside. We don't really want them outside of the balcony. You know what? I never recolored these easels to be a dark brown, but it actually looks awesome. I think that's gonna be the painting room. And now for the final room is actually the meditation room. So this needs to be as zen as possible. It's a little bit different from the lounge room because the lounge you're just like chilling meditation room you literally have to sit here and meditate that means you need to sit and not think you know what you need for a zen room 100% you need curtains for the door and for the window you want to make sure that you're not getting distracted by everything outside just close the curtains so it's just you in this room I know some people like to light these sticks up when they're about to meditate like I think the way they do it is they light a stick and then like when it's about to finish is when they stop meditating I don't think the meditation room should have a lot of stuff in it that is the meditation room. We have our little roof garden over here and I don't even know what to do with this. What do you put on a roof garden? Flowers, definitely. Like why wouldn't you have a ton of flowers up here? What's sad is that people can't really see what's in your roof garden. I'm gonna give them bushes. Yeah, maybe this is where they grow all the flowers for the flower room. If that's the case, they need the blossoming bush as well. And I guess I'm just gonna put some grass on the ground. That makes sense up here for sure. And that's gonna be our rooftop garden. The total cost of our letter B house is 80,000. Here are the surroundings of the house. Now let's go in, shall we? This is the entryway. Over here is our office and this is our laundry room. Moving on from here, we have our dining area with our fancy huge windows. And then over here is our kitchen with also some more fancy huge windows. Moving on over here is the hallway and to the right of it is our instrument storage room. And if we go upstairs from here, we enter our flower room or well, more like the flower arranging room. It looks awesome. So you sit here and you make bouquets. So it might be a little tough to get out of here. <laughs> I might be a little bit stuck. To be fair, it's like 15 rooms in like a very small house. This is the third floor. We have a little balcony and through here is where we paint. And this is our meditation room. Here is our bedroom, very cozy actually. And then this is our lounge room. So you sit on the floor and you just chill. Over here is our workout room. We've got a yoga mat, jump rope, and an exercise ball. We got our little library room. And over here is the final area. Here is our bathroom. And of course you got curtains. Even though you're in your own house, nobody's really gonna see you and there's wall vines. You still got your privacy with the curtains. And these doors lead to our storage room where we keep a lot of toilet paper and soap and soil and seed packages That's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. Love you guys so much. Bye